among the top 10 most attractive female MMA fighters of all time. Men have dominated the world of MMA for the longest time. Funny enough, with women joining MMA, one can argue that it has also brought the same level of excitement to the fights that it has experienced in the men's fights. Even Dana White says it himself. I would said for a long time that I would never let women compete in the UFC, but I was, I was very wrong. Even though Dana White is known for always caring about the money, you can't argue with him about his view on women as fighters. Anyways, enough of the talking, let's get to it. Number 10, Valentina Shevchenko. Valentina Shevchenko also goes by the nickname The Bullet, is one of the deadliest and most attractive female fighters out there. Valentina is a 32-year-old UFC flyweight champion fighting out of Bishkek, Kyrgyzstan. Valentina is an outstanding kickboxer and Muay Thai specialist, with about 59 fights, with 57 wins and only 2 losses, which is actually insane. Even though she's very intimidating, a lot of people argue that she's also up there in the most beautiful fighters in the UFC. With her impressive record of 19-3 in the UFC and her notable wins against former fighters such as Kaylin Chukagyan, Jessica I, Holly Holm, and Joanna Junjacek, it's difficult to argue that she's not one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters out there. Number 9. Kat Zingano Kat Zingano, also known by her real name, Kathleen Deborah Albert, also made it on our list as one of the most attractive female MMA fighters of all time. The 38-year-old fighter started wrestling at the age of 12 until she discovered Brazilian Jiu Jitsu in 2007 and started competing and winning in tournaments in Los Angeles. She would later make her MMA debut in 2008 at Ring of Fire 32 and would beat Karina Taylor with an armbar. Kat joined the UFC in 2013 and participated in the Ultimate Fighter Finale 17, where she would later on fight Misha Tate. Kat would later beat Tate in the third round due to a TKO. Kat was supposed to coach her team against Ronda Rousey before their season ending fight, but was not able to make that happen. Kat ended up blowing out her knee and this resulted in Misha Tate replacing her in the bout against Ronda. Kat returned to the Octagon in the fall of 2014 to fight Amanda Nunes at UFC 178. Kat lost the first round, but was able to come back and beat Nunes via TKO. She would later sign with Bellator in 2019. Kat married Brazilian black belt Mauricio Zingano in 2010 and would become the first mother to compete in the UFC after giving birth to her son, Brayden. On to our next fighter. Number 8, Mackenzie Dern. Mackenzie Lynn Duran Santos is an American MMA and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu specialist hailing from Phoenix, Arizona. She is 27 years old and was already ranked as the number one International Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Federation competitor, or IBJJF. Mackenzie is of Brazilian descent, so it also helps woo some of the guys since she is fluent in both English and Portuguese. She began training at the age of 3 and practiced with her father, who is the current black belt. Mackenzie also fought in the Invicta Fighting Championship in 2017 and would later make her UFC debut in 2018 against Ashley Yoder at UFC 222. Mackenzie also has an impressive record of 8-1 in the UFC at the moment. She also has a pretty poppin' Instagram profile with pictures of her training or even at the beach. Mackenzie has an even impressive 800,000 followers on Instagram. Let's move on to our next fighter. On to our next fighter. Number 7, Alexandra Albu. Alexandra Albu is a judo and karate specialist who has not had an extensive MMA career. The 30-year-old fighter competed in karate, crossfit, and even bodybuilding competitions. Alexander Albu is a Moldovan, born Russian, mixed martial artist. She even trained for several years in Moscow. She was expected to make her UFC debut at UFC Fight Night 33 in 2013 until she suffered a knee injury. Her record ended up 3-2 and, and had her last fight back in October of 2019. Even though Alexander does not fight anymore, her looks never failed to bring her name back up in the conversation as one of the top most attractive female fighters of all time. She is currently a student at the Academy of Intellectual Property. Even though she doesn't fight, she definitely doesn't mind showing herself off on her Instagram. On to our next fighter, number 6, Michelle Watterson. Michelle Watterson, also known as the Karate Hottie, is also known for being one of the most beautiful women to ever grace the octagon. The 34 year old is also called Karate Hottie due to her mixed ethnic background. Her mother is Thai and her father is white. She had also garnered the name due to the inability to pay for gymnastics and having to resort to karate at the age of 10. Michelle barely had money growing up and would sleep in the attic at Jackson Wink MMA Academy and worked at Hooters to pay for her training at the age of 19. Donald Cerrone, gets a shout out for helping Michelle transition from a ring girl to a fighter, which allowed her to make her MMA debut at Ring of Fire 28. She would later on sign with the UFC on April 28, 2015. She had had her UFC debut fight against Angela Magana on July 12, 2015 at the Ultimate Fighter 21 finale. Watterson married US Armed Forces boxing champion Joshua Gomez. They later would welcome their first child in 2011. Michelle's Instagram actually has a really big following of 1.5 million people, which is pretty good and is better than most male fighters in the UFC at the moment. On to our next fighter. Number 5, 
Paige Van Zandt. She's one of the most talked about female UFC fighters at the moment and is known for her fighting skills and her looks. Paige is in MMA, modeling, and even an author. And she had even appeared on Dancing with the Stars and a television show Chop. She grew up wanting to dance, but was also considered a tomboy for always wanting to hang out outdoors. Her career in MMA started when her family moved to Nevada and later came across former UFC veteran Ken Shamrock's gym. This would later incite her to start training and propel her career in MMA. She made her UFC debut when she began fighting in 2014, where she beat Kaylin Curran with a TKO at UFC Fight Night Edgar vs. Swanson. Paige Van Zandt is considered to be the top five of the most attractive girls in the UFC, according to the MMA community. She also has one of the biggest followings on social media for female fighters, besides Ronda Rousey having the most. Paige has around 2 million followers at the moment and is growing fast. Anyways, on to our next one. Number four, Rachel Osevich. Rachel is a 29-year-old professional fighter that started her amateur MMA career in 2010. She was able to go undefeated with a record of six wins and zero losses. She had made a professional debut in 2014 in her native Hawaii and went one and one. Afterwards, she joined Invicta Fighting Champions, or Invicta FC. She would later on go and make her UFC debut in August 2017 when she was featured on the Ultimate Fighter 26. In her opening round, she was able to beat Melinda Fabian by a rear naked choke, which would later take her to the quarterfinals. Unfortunately for Rachel, she lost in the quarterfinals against Barb Honchak via unanimous decision. Rachel was able to beat Katania by an armbar submission in the first round. Rachel was also able to turn some heads not just by her fight outcomes, but rather her looks. Rachel's Instagram is popping with almost 700,000 followers, which is actually a pretty good following on the platform, considering Rachel doesn't actually fight that much. Even though she isn't competing much, it doesn't change the fact that she's one of the most attractive MMA fighters out there right now, and also in the top 10. Let's move on to our next one. Number 3, Anastasia Yankova. Anastasia Yankova is a Russian mixed martial artist competitor. She started doing karate at the age of 6 and continued training until she was 14. She later dropped fighting in order to focus on school and college. After school, she realized she wanted to get back into MMA and started Muay Thai training. Not long after training, she would begin entering kickboxing tournaments. She later transitioned back into MMA after being a Muay Thai champion. She sometimes trains at American Kickboxing Academy in Thailand. She eventually signed to Bellator and would make her debut at Bellator 152 in Torino, Italy. She had her last fight in 2018 when she lost via decision in Bellator 200. She's sponsored by Nike and was even in a Russian Nike short film for a sales campaign. She's also pretty big on Instagram with around 200,000 followers and is still pretty active on there. Anyways, on to the next one. Number two, Misha Tate. Misha Tate, also known as Cupcake, was one of the most talked about female fighters in the UFC. She's known for a pretty smile and fierce look. No one looks to deceive you though. Misha Tate was very deadly in the octagon, which explains her title as a former champion when she was able to beat Holly Holm at UFC 196 in order to take home the belt. She began her career in the UFC in 2014 when she defeated Liz Carmouche. She would also have the honor of becoming a UFC team captain in the Ultimate Fighter 17 when Kat Zingano was supposed to face Ronda until she had messed up her knee which gave Dana the ability to replace her with Tate. Ronda Rousey did not like Tate at all and showed hostility all throughout the Ultimate Fighter. Even though Ronda hated Misha, it didn't stop her from messing with the former champion. After the season was over, Ronda and Misha fought and this led to Misha losing via submission. Tate would later on announce her retirement in 2016 and received a large ovation in Madison Square Garden after her loss to Raquel Pennington at UFC 205. She eventually became the vice president at one championship in 2018, two years after her retirement from the UFC. I mean, come on, how can you not say she's in the top five at least? Number one, Gina Carano. Last but not least, our number one is Gina Carano. Some of you may remember Gina from a newly released television show offered by Disney Plus as part of the Star Wars franchise, The Mandalorian. Gina is arguably the most attractive female fighter. She's from Dallas, Texas and was raised by her parents until their subsequent divorce. She later started her Muay Thai career with her boyfriend, Kevin Ross, who is also a professional Muay Thai fighter. She would later receive a record of 12 wins, one draw and one loss. She would also compete in World Extreme Fighting, Strike Force, and eventually Elite XC. She had a pretty impressive record of 7-1 when she fought Chris Cyborg and was defeated TKO, thus receiving her first loss. This was Gina's last professional fight, unfortunately, but she was able to transition into the world of acting and modeling. She starred in Blood and Bone, Haywire, Deadpool, Fast and Furious 6, and many more films. Even though she had a short career, Gina never actually fought in the UFC and apparently had four fights left from her contract with Strike Force. Gina is more known for her celebrity status rather than her fighting career and is still brought up as the most attractive female fighter of all time. 
All right, MMA fans, thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this video. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and comment below what video you want to see, and also what you would say is your top 10 most attractive female MMA fighters.